It's quite a strange experience driving out of Turn 1 up the hill where I drive every day at 30 kilometres an hour and now I'm doing 250 kilometres an hour. The time when Senna was there, watching him driving through the tunnel and now I ride through there on my scooter every day. You don't often see Monaco from here. It's beautiful. There's so much history here. The circuit hasn't really changed over the last sort of 40 years. The jewel in the crown it is certainly going to be Monaco. It's a very, you know, sort of very intimate circuit. Some really great drivers have won this Grand Prix. Ayrton, I think he was one and a half seconds quicker than anyone, including his teammate. People had and they just turn on for Monaco in a way that they don't, it doesn't happen anywhere else, really. I think it's just the fact that the people are, are so close to you. I mean, I remember once there was a very, very pretty girl and I made a note out to her and sort of gave it to her as I went out to practice. I saw some ladies on the boat once. Not so bad when you come out the chicane. <laughs> After that day, I was like, I've got to make sure I keep my eyes on the road. You can see the flags, you can see people cheering. You've got people on the boat, you've got people on balconies, you've got people in the grandstands. People up on the hills watching the race, everywhere. Winning in 2008 was, yeah, an incredible experience. When you're standing on the podium, you feel like you're standing amongst all the legends that have stood there before. And I parked in the wrong place after the race and had to run all the way down the straight which to be fair was pretty cool. I might even do it again if I win it this year. When things go to plan and you have a good race, you celebrate that victory with everyone in, in Monaco. There are parties every evening. You're just sitting there focusing in the car and you happen to see in the corner of your eye Chris Tucker or Chris Rock or Beyonce or something like that, which is pretty neat. You want to jump out the car and go and meet them, you have to stay focused and do your job. McLaren's record is very good on the Monaco Grand Prix 15 times, which is more than any other team. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to fighting for a win every Grand Prix we're going for. Come a long way, I think. Maturity-wise, I think I've grown quite a lot. It's probably the best that I've, I've driven for a long, long time. I just want to be able to make sure I'm always moving forward. I want to make sure that I'm always progressing. Step inside the circuit and follow our journey online.